here now then. It is the turn of the boys under 16 side for the B teams. Thomas Telford once again in action here up head to head with Glyn School. Bounce ball there wasn't brought down by Booth how he wanted to, and it's forward here. It's an opportunity for McPartland if he can get it inside onto the favoured right. It's still there as well. It's smashed over the bar in the end. Kai Cook at the end of it all after the initial opening for McPartland, and Cook on the end of it, but he wasn't able to keep the shot down. Actually, ended up all the way across on the left, didn't he? As the effort struck the near post over on that side. Munger there tried to collect but couldn't take it away from Hales. Hales then looking to try to turn defence into attack. Carithers, Carithers! Back to the side netting though. Effort there for Thomas Telford as it just broke back his way after the momentary loss of possession but wasn't able to test the goalkeeper. Good looking ball over the goalkeeper to the back stick, it's still there as well, but the referee's whistle goes. Spotted a foul in amongst it all there in the six yard box, the match official. Had the goalkeeper beaten as it came all the way through there, and it was agonisingly close. It was just begging for a touch. Those set piece moments though for Glenn, the majority of them having been corners but they also have the threat of the long throw it as well seem to be causing issues and this might cause an issue as well around the goalkeeper surely 1-0 Glenn Rahul Munger with the opening goal 33 minutes on the clock and Glenn are ahead Munger with the breakthrough Glynn had just began to up the pressure on the Thomas Telford goal and they'll feel that that is just reward for it. The long ball forward there from Ryan Wishart and just too pacey for the Thomas Telford back line. More desire, more pace. Two players don't actually have to go off here, but they have done anyway into a dangerous area. The header in, but the offside flag goes up. Hung up high towards the back stick there for Chowdhury, back across, and it was well, an enticing one there for Harris. Coming together, back into the centre, and the header is in. Glint double their advantage. Connor Stevens, the man of the moment there for Glynn. Just powered, in, powered his header past the on-rushing goalkeeper. Stevens doubles Glynn's advantage with 55 minutes on the clock. It looks like a difficult ask now for Thomas Telford. No ruling that one out. Was the initial coming together and stayed down as the goal was scored there. <laughs> Throwing forward down the line and cue the Glynn celebrations. The referee blows the full time whistle and it's Glynn score who here get the job done on the big stage, 2-0 winners against Thomas Telford. As they'll take home the silverware, crowd champions in just a few minutes time, but winners confirmed now of the English Schools FA Boys Under 16 Schools Cup competition for the B teams. Congratulations to Glynn and commiserations as well of course to Thomas Telford, just a step too far for them today. Glynn get their hands on the trophy and soon they'll be able to celebrate. That's the prize that they came for and the trophy they'll go home with. Glynn School crowned the champions.
of the boys under 16 schools cup competition for the B teams an excellent display from start to finish and once Munger got the opener after 33 minutes Glynn never looked back